Hi, I'm Harold Anger from Spring Green, and I want to talk to you about a common condition for this last summer, uh, slime molds. People have been asking about these little gray spots, they can be gray, purple, uh, bluish color, of dusty stuff that they find in their lawns, especially after some heavy rain and the temperatures are still warm. These uh, slime molds are perfectly harmless to the lawn. They only grow on the outside of the grass blade. They just basically use that grass blade as a, as a fruiting structure, something to grow on. This uh, stuff that it forms is called plasmodium. And the plasmodium grows up, it's a gelatinous substance. And then as the sun comes up, that plasmodium begins to dry and then change color and turns into dust. So you touch it, whoosh, a big uh, cloud of dust goes out. And those are just the spores being released by the, the, the uh, organism themselves. There's a lot of different uh, species of slime molds. There's one that's really kind of unusual. You may have seen it in a mulch bed, especially if you put new, new mulch down in your, in your uh, landscape beds. And that's called, believe it or not, dog vomit slime mold. It's bright yellow and it's very gelatinous and very ugly looking and it looks like a dog threw up in your garden. So slime molds are nothing to worry about. What you can do is you can take a broom and sweep it off. If it's in your landscape bed, just mix up the mulch a little bit. It'll go away. It's not going to hurt the lawn. It's not going to be damaging to anything. It only grows on the outside. The worst thing that could possibly happen is that the grass blade might get a little yellow from the lack of sun, but that's pretty unusual. For more information on slime mold, contact your neighborhood lawn care professional at Spring Green or visit us on the web at www.spring-green.com and click on the blog. You can go there and send me a question and I will answer it for you.